Hey there folks! Before we dive into our topic today, remember to hit that subscribe button. It's free, and you can always change your mind. Welcome to our channel, where we delve into the most curious corners of knowledge. Today's topic? What happens when a pair of priceless crown jewels go AWOL? Yes, we're talking about the impact of testicle removal on the human male body. So, buckle up for a ride full of unexpected twists and turns. Hold on to your hats, folks. This is going to be a testy topic. So, what happens when men lose their testicles? First things first, you can say goodbye to sperm production. That's right, folks. The factory has officially closed. No more little swimmers doing their backstrokes in the pool. You see, testicles are like the executive producers of the show Sperm's Journey. They are the ones responsible for creating and nurturing those tireless little wrigglers. So if you remove the producers, well, the show can't go on. It's as simple as that. Now, this doesn't mean the end of all things fun and enjoyable, of course. It's just that the baby-making part of the equation may need some recalculations. It's like trying to bake a cake without the baking powder. You can still do it, but the result might not rise to the occasion, so to speak. And let's not forget the other little soldiers that share the barracks with the sperm, the testosterone. They too are produced in the testicles. So when the testicles wave the white flag, testosterone production takes a serious hit. It's like removing the fuel from a car. You can still sit in it, enjoy the radio, even honk the horn once or twice. But going from A to B? That's a bit of a problem, but hey, there's always a silver lining. You know how some men complain about their testicles getting in the way when they're trying to cross their legs or ride a bicycle? Well, problem solved. No more awkward shuffling or uncomfortable adjustments. It's all smooth sailing from here. So if you were planning on any DIY baby making, you might need to rethink your strategy. Maybe consider a different hobby, origami perhaps. It's quite therapeutic I've heard, plus you won't need to worry about any unexpected diaper changes in the middle of the night. But that's not all. There's more to this than meets the underwear. Stay tuned because we're just getting to the good stuff, this ball game is only beginning. Now let's talk libido. If you thought the loss of sperm production was a big deal, wait till you hear this. You see, when the testicles are removed, it's like taking the fuel out of a race car. The engine might still be there, but without gas, it's not going very far. And that's exactly what happens to a man's libido. It's like you're driving a sports car and suddenly poof, you're out of gas in the middle of nowhere. Remember that time when you tried to blow up a balloon, but it just wouldn't inflate? That's your libido on a testicle-less diet. It's like a deflated balloon lying flat and lifeless on the floor. You can huff and puff all you want, but without the necessary air, or in this case, testosterone, there's not much happening. And it doesn't stop there. Oh no, the effects are far-reaching, it's like a domino effect. Once the testosterone levels drop, it's not just the libido that takes a hit. It's like a cascading waterfall with the water being your desire and the rocks being your testosterone levels. As the levels drop, so does your desire. And let's not forget about the psychological impact. Imagine being a lion, king of the jungle. And then suddenly you're more like a house cat. Still a feline but without the roar. That can play a huge role in how a man perceives himself and his place in the world. But let's lighten the mood a bit. It's not all doom and gloom. Think of it as an opportunity to explore other forms of intimacy, you know, like cuddling. Yes, cuddling, it might not sound as exciting as a testosterone-fueled romp. But hey, it has its perks. So, guys, if your love life was a movie, this could be the unexpected plot twist. But remember, every good movie has its ups and downs. It's how you handle the plot twists that define the ending. And who knows, you might just find that the cuddling scene becomes your favorite part. Now let's move on to the hot stuff. And by hot, we mean hot flashes. Yes, you heard right, hot flashes. You might be thinking, but isn't that just a woman thing? Well, buckle up because we're about to bust that myth wide open. Here's the skinny. When men's testicles are removed, the body's testosterone production takes a nosedive. This hormonal shift can trigger a whole slew of changes including our topic du jour hot flashes. So gentlemen, it turns out you're not immune to this fiery phenomenon after all. Who knew men could also ride the hot flash roller coaster, right? Picture this gentlemen, you're just sitting there minding your own business when suddenly, BAM, you're hit with an intense wave of heat. It's like someone cranked up the thermostat to surface of the sun. Your face turns into a tomato, you're sweating bullets, and you're left wondering if you're experiencing a personal summer or if global warming just got personal, but wait, there's more. This isn't just a one and done deal, oh no, these hot flashes can come and go, turning your day into a spontaneous sauna session. And they don't just strike in the daytime, they're like unwanted party guests showing up at the most inconvenient times like in the middle of the night, when you're trying to catch some Z's. Talk about a rude awakening. 
Now don't get too heated, there's a silver lining. While hot flashes can be a real burn, they're not a life sentence. There are ways to manage them like hormone therapy or lifestyle changes. So, if you find yourself riding the hot flash roller coaster, remember, it's not the end of the world. It's just a new chapter in the wild ride that is life. But we're not done yet. There's more to come in this testicle tale. So, stay tuned, because we're about to dive into the emotional roller coaster that follows. Trust us, it's a ride you won't want to miss. Ever felt like you're on an emotional roller coaster? Well, losing your testicles might just buy you a ticket to this ride. And no, I'm not talking about those carnival rides that make you squeal with delight. This is more like the gut-wrenching, heart-dropping, why did I ever get on this thing kind of roller coaster. You see, the testicles aren't just the factories for sperm production, they're also the main source of testosterone, the hormone that helps keep your emotions on an even keel. Without it, your mood might swing more than a playground pendulum. Imagine this. One minute, you're cheering on your favorite football team, fist-pumping every goal, and the next, you're tearing up at a puppy commercial. Yeah, that's right, a puppy commercial. You know the one with the big-eyed pup looking all forlorn because it can't reach its toy? Previously, you might have chuckled and moved on, but now, now, you're reaching for a tissue and wondering why the world can be so cruel. And that's not all. Feeling blue might become your new normal. Testosterone plays a key role in regulating mood, and without it, you might find yourself feeling down more often than not. Not exactly the life of the party, huh? But hey, it's not all doom and gloom. On the bright side, you might develop a newfound appreciation for rom-coms and tearjerker movies. Plus, who knows? You might just become the go-to guy for emotional support among your friends. After all, who better to understand the highs and lows of life than someone on an emotional roller coaster? So, while losing your testicles might make you more likely to cry at a sunset or a heartfelt Hallmark card, remember, it's okay to feel. Emotions, whether they're up or down, are a part of being human. And if anyone questions your unexpected tears, just tell them you're on a roller coaster ride. And that's the emotional side of things, but we've still got a bone to pick. Now let's talk about the skeleton in the closet. Bone density loss. Ever thought of yourself as a superhero? Well, guess what? You're more like Wolverine than you might think. You see, testosterone is like adamantium, the mythical substance that keeps Wolverine's bones super strong and nearly unbreakable. But what happens when you lose that testosterone? Your bones become more like well, normal human bones. And that's not as cool, is it? You see, testosterone plays a vital role in maintaining bone density. Remove the testicles and you're essentially removing the main source of your body's testosterone. The result? Your bones may become less dense, weaker and brittle, making you more susceptible to fractures. But here's a twist. If you thought osteoporosis was for the oldies, think again. Men who have undergone orchiectomy, that's a fancy term for testicle removal, may experience a drop in bone density that can lead to osteoporosis. Yep, you heard it right. You could be sipping your green smoothie, doing your yoga, thinking you're the picture of health, and then, bam, your bones are as brittle as a biscuit dunked in hot tea for too long. But don't panic just yet. There are ways to manage this like hormone replacement therapy and a healthy diet. So chin up, champ. There's still hope to keep those bones robust and strong. So there you have it. Losing your testicles is more than just a cosmetic change. Well folks, that's all for today's enlightening episode on the adventures of the missing testicles. We've tackled everything from love life lows to hot flash hullabaloos, bone density dilemmas to emotional roller coasters. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more fun and educational content. Stay curious, folks.